Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Troy Man 201 back with another video for you guys today. And today we are doing our first race reaction 2020. My goal of this year is to do, I mean, is not to miss a race reaction because last year, well, I missed a couple of because of, of um, what happened in the summer. But, and I'll be filming all my race reactions with the GoPro this time, so they'll come out a lot better. Uh, for sure. But enough about that. So today we are reacting to the 2020 Daytona 500, which just happened, well, three days ago. <laughs> yeah, I meant to get a race reaction online yesterday, but there was no race rewind. And I saw it this morning, and I actually watched highlights yesterday. So I was going to post a video yesterday, but it just got late. So today I'm definitely posting it. Um... Along with another video, which I'll um, film this afternoon um, before I go to work. But let's get right into the race. Um, so, for the NASCAR Cup Series, um, yeah, I made that clear that I specified that. But, anyways, uh, Chase Elliott won stage one. Okay, so here's what happened um, on Sunday, they got 20 laps in, uh, Ricky Stenis Jr. out of the pole. Um, he was leading, and then all of a sudden, it started bucketing down rain. They had to postpone it till Monday. So that's when they actually finished the race, per se. Um, they started the race on Sunday and finished it on Monday. So that's that's what happened there. Um, anyways, Chase Elliott won stage one, Denny Hamlin won stage two, and ultimately, Denny Hamlin won stage three. Uh, the racing overall was not really that great. Um, I mean, you would expect... I mean, you would expect... Um, yeah, I just feel like Daytona is kind of lacking in ter I mean, in terms of uh, how the race goes. I mean, it, it just wasn't very eventful at all. I mean, there were some really good battles in Stage 3, and of course we had the big wrecks. Um, um, yeah, well actually early in Stage 1, you had like the wreck with William Byron. Uh, Stenhouse set him for a spin. Um, and then... Um, and then stage three, well, that's when things went totally berserk. Uh, the big one came out involving multiple drivers. Um, yeah, to totally not anyone's fault there. That was just a mis miscommunication. Um, Logano was trying to um, give Al Al a push, but it just didn't end up working out. And then Logano got wrecked a, a little later. Uh, with Ross Chastain, and that's what hurt Chase Elliott's chances of winning the race. Um, and then Bowman and Johnson were caught up with the big ones, so that kind of hurt uh, Hendrick Motorsports' day. But they were racing well. I mean, Hendrick Motorsports were, worked really well um, to get Chase Elliott the stage win, and then Joe gets racing as outright dominated stage two. Um, uh, Reed Sanson and Timmy Hill also involved in the wreck, and then Ricky Sinesh Jr. Uh, spun around as well. Um, and then Ryan Priest was caught up in a wreck at two. Um, so yeah, and actually it was not a good day for the rookies, uh, for sure. Yeah, it was definitely not a good day for the rookies at all. Um, yeah, the rookies had <laughs> not great days at all. Tyler Reddick was caught up in a wreck. Um, Ross Chastain was caught up in a wreck. Oh, wait. Actually, no. Oh, wait. Chastain's not a rookie. Never mind. Um, Cole Custer was caught up in a wreck. Um, Christopher Bell, um, I guess he got a little bit of contact when during the wreck with involving Ross Chastain, but um, he, still, he still finished the race, which is good. Um, and then... Um, Yeah. So in terms of like the big rookie battle, um, and then uh, John H. Ne uh, Nemechek, um, he was another rookie in the 38. He was involved in the big one. So yeah, very unfortunate for the rookies. Uh, yeah, certain drivers did not have very good days at all. I mean, ended up not having a very good finish. But overall, I would have to say Toyota's and Ford's probably ran the best. Um, Chevy wasn't really up there at all. Um, except uh, late in stage one where Chase Elliott won the stage. Yeah, I'd say probably Toyota and Ford ran the best, uh, despite what happened 
in sta- uh, late in stage three, before the race even ended, there was like four wrecks, including on the final lap, which uh, if you haven't seen it already, Ryan Newman had a very horrific wreck, landed on the driver's side, uh, was sent to the hospital, uh, but he is okay. Uh, he has been released from the hospital. Uh, that's the latest on that. But yeah, I was thinking of him when I saw that video, and I was I just felt bad for the man. I mean, oh man, that was a horrifying crash. And uh, shout out, I mean, props to Eddie Hamlin for kind of like uh, uh, making up for celebrating, not really knowing what's going on. And uh, uh, so props to did. I mean, not really happy uh, he won. Um, because just not a fan of Joe Gibbs Racing at all, except for Eric Jones, as as you all know. Uh, but props to Hamlin for uh, making up for celebrating, not not really knowing what was going on um, with Ryan Newman. Um, so props to him for, uh, for that. Um, and thanks to Roush Fenway Racing for uh, keep, keeping us posted on that. And actually, uh, despite that Newman had that really bad wreck, uh, Chris Pusher ended up having a really good finish. Um, oh, wait a minute. Did he? Oh, wait. Yeah. Oh, wait. Yes, he did. Um, I forgot. <clears throat> he did. I forgot. He's in the 17. Um, and Ryan Priest is in the 37. I forgot. Okay. Um... And unfortunately, Corey LaJoy was caught up in, the, in that Ryan Newman wreck. And Ryan Newman in contact with Newman when he, when he went airborne. But yeah, very very terif- terrifying wreck for Ryan Newman. Uh, I will put that Newman wreck aside. Um, I have to give this uh, race a 65 on 100. I mean, the racing was just not very eventful until like maybe stage 3, where there was like really good battles and a, a lot more passing in the wrecks. Out school the Newman wreck, but yeah, it just wasn't very eventful at all. Um, not how I want to start of this season in terms of rating the re- races, but uh, yeah. Well, anyways, this guys is gonna wrap this video for you guys today. As always, don't don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, peace out and have a good rest of your day.